The last default plugin that I use is called multi-band multi -band dynamic. This is a multi-band compressor that allows you to be more precise where on the frequency spectrum you want to use compression and how much do you want to apply it. I don't use it often and I started not too long ago because I feel like I have enough experience to use it. So let me explain how it works. First thing I want to explain is the frequency spectrum. It's a range of what we hear as humans. It goes from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz or 20 kHz. The lower we go, the more boomy the sounds are and they are much stronger. Imagine that you're standing outside a club and you can hear the low frequencies rumbling. If we go higher, the sounds are more ringing or resonant and they are more weaker. Imagine the ringing of a bell. The mid frequency is in between and pretty much every sound has some or even most of frequencies in the mid spectrum. So with multiband compressor you determine where the frequency spectrum you want to use compression and how, how do you want to apply it. By the way this is a third party plugin called Span from Box and Go. It's a frequency spectrum. It's free and I recommend using it. Personally I use it in every project. We have three bands. Low, mid and high. You can determine from where to where does a single band work. You can solo a band, you can turn it off, or you can simply remove it. Soft knee, I'm not entirely sure what it does, so I just leave it. RMS or peak, does it work on a peak of a sound or does it work on an average volume? The input means the gain of the sound when it comes into the compressor. Output means the sound when it comes out of the compressor. Then we have T means the ratio of attack or release. B means below the range and the ratio. A stands for above the range and the ratio. Output, time and amount are global, that means for all three bands at once. Output is the volume that comes out of the compressor. Time controls attack and release for all three bands. And amount is basically a dry wet. How much of compression do you want to use? Upward compression and expansion. Upward expansion brings all the very quiet sounds up. Upward compression works on the not too loud sounds and brings them up. Downward expansion, it makes the quiet part even more quieter so only the loud sounds get through. Downward compression, it makes the loud part quieter so they don't stand out. This is basically all for adjusting the volume of different parts of a sound. Let me show you an example, this is already the final result because I needed to, to fiddle a lot with it. The first thing I did adjusted the ranges for the band, then I started with the highs because I wanted to remove the clicky sound. So, uh, fast attack and fast release. With mids I wanted to make them more punchy, so I did that with slow attack and fast release and some compression. With the lows I just wanted some compression, so slow attack and medium release. Okay, so without. And with. The kick is more punchy and loses that annoying click sound at the highs. There are more uses for this plugin. Try using some pre presets and adjust them to your taste. This compressor is even more complicated than a regular one, so I don't recommend using it if you don't know exactly what you want to achieve with it. I hope you learned something useful and new. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next one.